to stay true to yourself and always be you. In life, we sometimes need a little inspiration. Something or someone to help us see things more clearly. With his signature boots, buckle, and hat. Hazard County Sheriff's Department. 23-year-old Austin Anthony, dressed in black from head to toe. The man in black. I am the man in black. Has the brightest of outlooks on life. I'm thinking about, you know, how I was before then, before I got successful, and you know, now, now I'm here, and I'm living, I'm living the dream, I guess you could say. He cleans the Bel Air Education Center every night, Monday through Friday, with precision, patience, and most of all, passion. Absolutely everything about it I love. I love the building, you know, all the friendly people here, and just cleaning and giving back to the school that taught me everything, you know, it's really awesome. He wasn't always this optimistic. Life for him has been hard. Well, I always acted up in school. I wasn't like super cooperative, like in class. I was like, was out of place. He grew up in and out of foster homes, frequent separations from his biological family. It had a ripple effect, causing troubles in school. But with some help from staff at Wells North... You can transfer from one setting to another, right? Things turned around. Well, the first day, I was like super nervous because there's a bunch of cops. He got a job cleaning the White Bear Lake Police Department, where he worked for three years. And it was such an honor to work with them. You know, and meeting Julie, Julie Swanson. Helping build his confidence and his spirit. I get compliments all the time. Whenever, you know, whenever I clean, you know, on how much of a good job I'm doing. His experience eventually landed him the job at Bel Air, facilitated by Wells, or Work Experience Life Skills, which serves students 18 to 21 who have emotional behavioral disorders, autism, and cognitive disabilities. Chris McDonald is a work coordinator with Wells and says seeing Austin's success brings him to tears. Definitely a first student who uh, went to the school and then later worked at the school um, within our district. So he's breaking barriers in that uh, regard because there have been former students who have wanted to do that who have not been able to get there. So, and to see him here and to say that he's living the dream is, I'm gonna start bowling. <laughs> Chris has recruited Austin to speak with other well students about his journey. You know what I'd do, Austin? I would take a picture of each door being locked. So while he serves picture. as an inspiration for them, I found it's his brother, AJ, who inspires him. I'm doing all this hard work for him. Performing his job with heart and soul because his brother didn't have that luxury. So he was born with half a heart, you know, and uh, he never really had much of a life. He couldn't have a job, he all, um, so he had trouble breathing all the time, he was in the hospitals a lot. He died a couple of years ago, but his memory lives on every night. The man in black rolls through these empty hallways. I, I really love him and I just really appreciate everything that he did for me. Yeah, this is for you, Reggie.